My dream is to become a lawyer, a hostess, an engineer, a doctor, a banker, a cardiologist, accountant, teacher, a justice in Uganda. Every day, we are inspired by women who stand up for themselves and their beliefs as they chase their dreams. Each of these women didn't let the hurdles and failures to pull them down. And every time they have fallen, they have gotten back up to chase their dreams. ERA, with partners through the second annual CSR project, embarked on a journey which involves visits to girls' schools by women serving in the electricity supply industry with a purpose to interest and encourage the younger female generation to pursue a path that will enable them to benefit from the tremendous opportunities the energy sector has to offer. All this is intended to bridge the wide gap between the ratio of men to women in the industry. As the overseers and the supervisors of the electricity supply industry, we noted that the number of women to men, the ratio was below the requirement by the Minister of Labour. So as the overseers of the electric supply industry, we did come up with the, a project codenamed Women in Energy. What I could say from this program and why I joined it specifically is to understand my background, what I went through, and what I could have achieved if certain career guidance was done, certain role models were available, and people guiding you at an early age. I joined this project to give back to the community most especially the girl child. My joy has always been to hold a girl, so this has given me the opportunity. The schools visited included Tororo Girls Secondary School in Tororo District, Bubulo Girls Secondary School in Manafwa District, Dokolo Girls Secondary School in Dokolo District, St. Thomas Girls Secondary School in Kabaramaido District, Chiburura Girls Secondary School in Ibanda District, Bishop Balia Girls Secondary School in Kamwenge District, Kamonkoli College in Budaka District, Bishop Iluku Girls Secondary School in Kumi District. Last year we went and visited Iganga Girls and we visited Wanyange Girls as well. It was a very exciting opportunity to talk to the girls, to encourage them. I think by sharing my story, the girl child will get inspired to join the energy sector. Being given an opportunity to be part of this is a big thing for me. So by speaking to the young girls, I hope that uh, we'll be able to encourage them to press on hard, go through life challenges, and be able to become the women that they would want to be in the future. Through this CSR project, ERA targets to empower and inspire the younger female generation to think, create, and innovate technologies that will support the advancement of society. We are partially here because we want to revive the education giant of the region. We are successful here, but we did not go to city schools. Some of us may not have got any A's, but we managed to cling on until we got what we wanted out of the profession. I've come here to exhibit myself that I was here for six years and I'm a minister. So stop thinking that I have to go to St. Mary's Chitende, I have to go to where. You can remain here and still make it wherever you have to go. Women from different walks of life have time and again showed us that the way to succeed is to hold on to your dreams and not to give up. It is therefore our mandate as the Electricity Regulatory Authority to carry this message every Women's Month of the year to the younger girls in schools to remind them why they shouldn't give up on their dreams and expose them to the career opportunities that await them in the future. I would like to appreciate the women in energy for believing in me because when I started this, I was not sure whether it will be an ERA activity or will be able to synergize as a sector and work together. I would like to appreciate my board members, Dr. Sarah Wasagali and Ambassador Joan Raviomile, for being passionate and for participating in person and sharing their story with the younger girls. Also, I would like to appreciate our minister, uh, Honorable Dr. Mary Golet Chitutu for walking with us this journey, but also for officiating at the launch of the Women in Energy at Tororo Girls School this year. 
I would also like to appreciate the, the schools that have allowed us, they've opened their gates to us to go and talk to the girls. You are winners, really. We win together. So we are very happy with this program and we hope that we will be able to continue making impact, but also to synergize with the other corporate, government and private bodies. <laughs>